My name is Courtney Madison. I'm an artist in Los Angeles, California. I create large scale ceramic sculptural works like large wall installations that are inspired by coral reefs and highlight the human caused threats that they face, particularly regarding climate change. This work is called Afterglow, Our Changing Seas 6. I finished it in 2018. It's completely comprised of glazed stoneware and porcelain pieces. It's the sixth work in my series called Our Changing Seas, which explores the rapid transition that coral reefs are making from healthy, colorful, and diverse to sickened and bleached as a result of climate change. At its heart, this work celebrates my favorite aesthetic aspects of a healthy coral reef, surrounded by the sterile white skeletons of bleached corals swirling like the rotating winds of a cyclone. The slightly brighter, less natural colors of the corals in this work illustrate the phenomenon of fluorescence in which corals sometimes create fluorescent protein in an effort to protect themselves from excessive heat and sunlight when they are on the verge of bleaching. Coral bleaching occurs when corals are so sensitive to changes in temperature that they have an immune response, sort of like having a fever. And the coral, an animal, ejects or evicts the symbiotic algae that live inside its tissues that also create their vibrant colors and provide a really important food source through photosynthesis. So a coral that has released the algae is completely white because the algae gives them their color. And a bleached coral typically starves to death and becomes very susceptible to disease. Corals can recover from bleaching, but typically they don't make it and then they become smothered in a slimy green algae. I don't think this work needs to be read completely pessimistically. I think the message is up to the viewer because coral reefs can recover from bleaching and the future of coral reefs really is in our hands, our decisions, lifestyle choices, how we vote, how we spend our money, those all influence climate change and thereby influence impacts on coral reefs. And we all can play a role in protecting them and helping them recover into the future. It's important to me that the medium of my work be ceramic because there's a shared sense of fragility. As you can imagine, porcelain, anemone tentacles, and stoneware, coral branches are extremely fragile. And that's similar to the delicate bodies of living reef organisms in the wild. There's also a chemical parallel in that skeletons of coral reefs are precipitated from calcium carbonate. Corals sculpt the reef through creating this kind of limestone material. And that material is also a common ingredient in ceramic materials such as glazes that I use to create my work. Afterglow measures 90 by 102 inches and protrudes from the wall about 20 inches in the center. So it's relatively three-dimensional. When people view my work on a large wall, I hope that they feel sort of the way I do when I'm hovering over a healthy coral reef when I'm scuba diving, discovering details from every angle and feeling the same sense of curiosity and wonder. And then I also hope they step back and consider the transition from healthy and colorful and diverse corals to the ones that are bleached white and try to determine what that means and what our role is in that issue.